Today we're going to solve two-step inequalities by using inverse operations to undo the operations on both on the sides of the inequality and isolate the variable. We do this the same way we would an equation. We start by drawing a line and finding where our variable is. Our variable is here. I'm going to circle the whole variable from the variable all the way out to if there were a sign. Okay, so the variable's on the left. We have to work on the left. Next, we're going to add, get rid of, or undo any adding or subtraction. We see minus 16. The opposite of minus 16 is plus 16. So if I add 16, that'll get rid of the subtraction. That cancels out. And that is our first step, getting rid of the adding or subtraction, which now leaves us with just 3x. Bring down my sign, and 8 plus 16 is 24. So now that we've gotten rid of any adding or subtraction, we're going to get rid of the, any multiplication or division. This is 3 times x. We can tell because it's directly next to it with no sign in between. The opposite of 3 times x is dividing by 3. Opposite of times 3 is dividing by 3, which we do on both sides. Now that we've done our multiplication or division, we bring down and we check and see if we need to change our sign. So x is all that's left on this side. We can cancel that out. And 24 divided by 3 is 8. We do not need to flip our sign because even though we divided, we did not divide by a negative. We divided by positive 3, not a negative. So we keep our sign as negative or as less than 8. x is less than 8. Go ahead and try the problem on the right. So hopefully you were able to get x is greater than or equal to negative 25. You should have circled your variable and then gotten rid of the plus 2 by subtracting 2 on both sides. Always get rid of add and subtraction first. That would have left you with x divided by 5 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Then you needed to do the opposite of dividing by 5, which is multiplying by 5 on both sides. That cancels out the division and leaving you with x negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. And even though we multiplied on both sides, we do not need to flip the sign because we didn't multiply by a negative. So we keep the sign the same. x is greater than or equal to negative 25. Let's check out another one. So in this case, we're going to begin the same way. We're going to start by circling our variable. I start from the end of my variable all the way out to the sign in front. This negative sign belongs to the 2x, so it's going to be circled with it. Now that I've circled my variable, I'm going to check and see, is there any addition or subtraction I need to do? This 9 out in front represents our adding or subtraction. It has an invisible plus, so the opposite of adding 9 to both sides would be subtracting 9. From both sides. Oop, I forgot to draw my line. So subtracting 9 from both sides gets rid of our adding a subtraction. Let me draw that line in. Then this cancels out and I'm left with just the minus 2x. That's why we circled it so that we remember to bring down the minus sign. 15 take away 9 or subtract 9 is going to be 6 and then we have a greater than sign. Our next step is to get rid of any multiplication or division. This is negative 2 times x, since it's right next to it. Opposite of negative 2 multiplied by x is divide by negative 2. So we divide by negative 2 on both sides, which will cancel out the multiplication. Now that we've done that, we bring everything down and check and see if we switch our sign. x on this side 
6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. And do we need to switch our sign? In this case, yes, we need to flip our sign. Flip sign. Why? Because we divided by negative 2. So divided by a negative means our sign goes from greater than to less than. X is less than negative 3. Go ahead and try the next one on your own. So for this one, we circle our variable, which would have been for all the way from the back of the X to the front of the sign, negative 3X. Then we had 7 out in front with an invisible plus, so I subtract 7 on both sides. When that cancels out, we bring down negative 3x, the sign, and negative 17 minus 7 is negative 24. This was negative 3 times x, so you do the opposite of times, you divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3 on both sides. Then we bring down what's left, x, and then negative 24 divided by negative 3 is positive 8. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. And finally, we check and see if we need to flip our sign. Since we divided by a negative, that means we have to flip our sign. So our sign went from greater than or equal to to a less than or equal to. 8 is less than or equal to x, excuse me, x is less than or equal to 8. Now let's look at some problems that start with division. Draw my line and handle these problems just like we have for everything else so far. Start by circling our variable. Here's our variable, and I'm going to include the number that it's attached to, okay, all the way out to if there was a sign in front. Now this x divided by negative 3. Now that I've circled my variable, I'm going to check and see, do I need, a, is there any adding or subtraction? And there is, we have minus 10. So to get rid of the minus 10, I need to add 10 to both sides. Adding 10 will cancel this out. Now I can bring down what's left x divided by 3 on this side is less than negative 4. Our next step is to check and see if there's any multiplication or division to cancel out. Here we're dividing by negative 3. The opposite of dividing by negative 3 is to multiply by negative 3. And we'll do that on both sides. That cancels out the division and we'll leave our x by itself. Our last step is going to bring everything else down and to check our sign. On this side, nothing's left but the x and negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Do we need to flip the sign? We do need to flip the sign because we multiplied by a negative. So it'll go from less than to greater than. X is greater than 12. Your turn, try the next problem. So you should have gotten X is less than or equal to negative 20. Circle your variable out to the sign get rid of the plus 7 by subtracting 7 on both sides. And then here, because you had to bring down minus x divided by 4, you're going to look at this as a divided by negative 4 and cancel it out by multiplying by negative 4. That gets rid of the negative and the 4 at the same time. So when you bring it down, you get x. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 and then flip the sign because you multiplied by a negative. Last type of problem that we're going to be looking at today are problems where the variable is on the right. So if I look at this problem and I have to circle my variable, I notice it's on the right side. 
that means that I'm going to be doing all of my cancellation or my inverse operations also on this side. I start with my minus one to get rid of that. We do plus one and I do that on both sides. Now that I have canceled out my adding and subtracting, I can bring down what's left. Five plus one is six on the side that we're not working on. Bring down my sign. And then this has been canceled out and all that's left is 3x. Still need to work on the sign where my variable is and I'm gonna check and see how to cancel out any multiplication or division. This is three times x. So I'm going to do divide by three to cancel out the multiplication. That cancels out the multiplication and I am left with 6 divided by 3 is 2 and x. Now last step is to check and see if we need to flip our sign. And in this case we do need to flip our sign. Or do in this case we do not need to flip our sign. We do not flip. Because we divided, but it's not divided by a negative sign. So our sign does not flip at this point. However, it is going to flip once we rewrite it. We have to rewrite it with the variable on the other side. So when I change the order, I have to change the sign. So although it doesn't flip due to the multiplication or division, it does flip when we need to rewrite it. Go ahead and try this last problem on your own. So hopefully you found that you got x is greater than 30. Circling your variable, you see that it's on the right. So you need to get rid of the plus 6 by subtracting 6. Bring down what's left. And then you need to get rid of divided by 10 by multiplying by 10. 3 times 10 is 30. And x is all that's left. So now that the x is by itself, you didn't have to flip due to the multiplication or division but when you rewrite it, you will need to flip the sign. Good luck with the rest of your inequalities today.